The 10,000 hour rule used to mean that it takes roughly 10,000 hours to become an expert in an advanced field. So the media has really abused this idea that it takes 10,000 hours to master a skill. And to master a skill, they mean to be one of the top performing people in the world. And they've changed the idea to make it seem like it takes 10,000 hours to just be good at it at all. But one professor swears anyone can do it if they just put in the hours, 10,000 hours to be specific. And you talk about the, the 10,000 hour rule. As somebody just breaking into the industry and getting a first job, you're not expected to know how everything works. You're expected to learn a lot on the job. People breaking into the industry from a CS background don't have 10,000 hours of experience working with the tools that are being used in the real world. In the real world, they're using different technologies, different tools, and just doing things in a totally different manner. The amount of time it's going to take you to break into industry will be different for different people. So there's not going to be this one point in time where everything fundamentally changes and you're a fundamentally different programmer. To think that you need to have expert level status at all of the different things, nobody has that. And programming is different than like everything. It's totally different. You're not spending the time memorizing things and, and like you can spend time memorizing things, but it's a waste of time. But the fact of the matter is you shouldn't be counting the hours and you shouldn't be expecting that at one point in time, you're going to be a fundamentally different developer. If you want to be able to contribute in a startup, you're going to have to learn every single day that you go into the office. And there's not going to be one magic moment where you you feel, oh my god, everything's changed. If you're waiting for that moment, it's not going to happen. So instead, you really should just focus on the moment that you have now. Focus your energy on actually coding. Focus on how you can make the small improvements in the short term, and they'll really add up in the long term. Eventually, you'll start to get the hang of it, and you'll be able to solve problems. And if you see an error message, you'll be able to solve the error message. Don't count the hours, because they don't matter. Uh, if you want to get a job as a junior developer, like the only thing that matters is that you're spending time programming now.